Welcome to The Know, I'm Joey Aranda, busy with Rooster Teeth's big move, but not busy enough to bring you some news. Today, the Man of Steel director Zack Snyder opens up about putting Batman in his Superman sequel. In an interview with Forbes, Snyder says, I gotta be honest, after Man of Steel finished and we started talking about what would be in the next movie, I started subtly mentioning that it would be cool if he faced Batman. In the first meeting, it was like, maybe Batman. Maybe at the end of the second movie, some kryptonite gets delivered to Bruce Wayne's house or something, like in a cryptic way. That's the first time we see him. He goes on to say, the problem is, once you say it out loud, then it's kind of hard to go back, right? I mean, once you say, what about Batman, then you realize, okay, that's a cool idea. What else? But I'm not going to say at all that when I took the job to do Man of Steel that I did it in a subversive way to get to Batman. I really believe that only after contemplating who could face him did Batman come into the picture. Now it's safe to say that he probably had a lot of convincing to do to get Batman back on the big screen so close to after the Christopher Nolan Warner Brothers trilogy, but he stands by it claiming that this Batman is going to make it his own and putting both superheroes, especially Superman in the real world, saying, I think with Superman we have this opportunity to place this icon within the sort of real world we live in. And I think that honestly the thing I was surprised about in response to Superman was how everyone clings on to this Christopher Reeve version of Superman, you know? Adding, if you really analyze the comic book version of Superman, he's killed. He's done all the things. I guess the rules that people associate with Superman in the movie world aren't the rules that apply to him in the comic book world, because those rules are different. He's done all the things and more that we've shown him doing, right? It's just funny to see people really taking it personally because I made him real, I made him feel or made consequences in the real world. Now, of course, he's keeping his mouth shut when it comes to plot details. After all, the Batman vs. Superman Man of Steel sequel is still in pre-production. However, we do know that the Ben Affleck Henry Cavill superhero matchup hits theaters May 6, 2016. Now, that's the news for now, but for more gaming and entertainment news, keep it here so we can keep you in the know.